Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1,292. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel Magic Trick 1,291 to 1,293 and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we're still doing scoring Myers-Briggs test. Now, in our last video, we saw how to use this rectangular lookup table, which is not a good structure for looking things up. We had to do a complicated array format. So here's the deal. We have control down arrow, 32 questions, and you can only answer A or B. If you get 1A, we need to score that as a letter N. If you get 1B, that's scored as the letter S. 2A is I, 2B is E, and so on. Here's the deal. The best way to solve this problem is to not have this rectangular table. We need to have a single column over here with each one of the 1A, 1B, 2A, et cetera, and then the letter. We need to be able to look up these items in the first column and return the letter. So I don't care how you do it. We're going to use Power Query to unpivot this. But if you have to do it manually and build the table that we're going to build using the Power Query feature, then do it. Because everything else is much easier with lookup when you have a proper lookup table. All right now, I'm using Excel 2016, so I already have Power Query. I go to the Data ribbon, the Get and Transform group. Now, if you don't have Excel 2016, you have to search Google for Download Power Query. And then you simply download it, and you'll have a separate tab called Power Query. All right, now before we can use the From Table to import this and click the single button to unpivot, I have to make sure this is an Excel table. So I have, in essence, field names at the top records in rows, but really that's not what this is. This is not a proper data set. But the structure is there. So I go up to Insert, click on Table, or I use the keyboard Control-T. My table has headers. That's these letters. I'm going to click OK or Enter. Now we need to make sure to name this table. So I go up to Design, over to Properties, and click up here. Or I can use the keyboard Alt-J-T-A, and that shoots me up here. Now I'm going to call this. I called it the Myers-Briggs Rectangular Table and Enter. Now I simply click in a single cell. I go up to Data from Table. Now there it's imported into Power Query, the editor up here. I'm going to change the name here because this name will end up being the table name for the exported correct lookup table. So I'm going to call this Myers-Briggs Correct Lookup Table. Now it's this easy. I simply click on the first column. And before I click on the last column, I hold Shift, right click, and there it is, Unpivot Columns. And just like that, I have almost what I want. I need to click on the value because this has to be the first column. So I'm going to click on it and drag in Power Query. There's my first column. And I could do exact match, which is perfectly fine. But I'm going to click in this column and come over and sort A to Z, sort ascending. Now, the numbers are not in the correct order. Notice 1A, 1B are not at the top. But I don't really care because this is a lookup table. And the function of the lookup table is to look something up and return the letter. So I don't really care how it's sorted. Now I can simply come up to Close and Load To. I definitely want it as a table. I definitely want it on the existing sheet. So I click Existing Sheet. I click the Collapse button. I do not want it in G12. I want it, say, right next to it. So I'm going to select N9 and click OK or hit Enter. And now I click Load. And there is our table. You can see there is our query right there, Meyer Briggs Correct Lookup Table. That one up there is actually from the answer sheet. Now, this is a lookup table. We can use VLOOKUP. It has a first column with a unique list. So I can say, hey, over in my formula right here, I can say, hey, lookup A1. It'll race down here. It'll find 1A. It'll look over to the second column and retrieve that N and bring it back to my formula. 
So now over here, I can simply say equals VL tab. My lookup value, well, it's not a single cell, so I'm simply going to click on the 1. Ampersand shift 7, that's the join symbol, and click on the cell with the A. Those are two relative cell references. Together, if I hit F9, they create a single item that can be matched in the first column over here. Control Z, comma, table. Click the top two cells, Control Shift down arrow, Control Backspace to jump back to the active cell. That's the entire table, comma. Column index, one, two. The second column has the thing that I want to retrieve and bring back to the cell. So in this argument right here, I have to type a two, comma. Now, if I hadn't sorted this, I would use exact match, and that's perfectly all right. I sorted it. And so I use approximate match true, or it is the default, so I can simply leave it out. Close parentheses, Control, Enter, double click, and send it down. I'm going to Control down arrow to go to the bottom and F2. And sure enough, look at that. It's simply looking up 32B. It's going to find it over here wherever it is. 32B and return an I. I'm going to click Escape, and sure enough. Now we have our letters. We simply come over here and we say, hey, please count using the count ifs function. I want you to count all the potential letters, Control Shift Down Arrow F4 to lock it, comma, and there's the criteria for counting. So right now, count ifs will count how many E's there are. Control Enter and copy it over. And so for each one of the letters, it's counting and giving us our final score. Now again, doesn't matter if you don't have Power Query. Get the table in this form, and then use a simple VLOOKUP instead of the complicated array formula we did last time. Now next video, 1293, we'll see how to skip over this entire helper column and go straight to the score. All right, we'll see you next video.